All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word that be like unto the speckled bird, and preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to y'all. And the title of this lesson is going to be The Lord is Not Blessing Modern Day uh, Babylon. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 2, and it reads, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, is, Babylon the greatest father, and has become a habitation of devils and a hole of every foul spirit and in a cage of unclean, hateful bird. Right? Because, you know, everybody trying to say, you know, uh, the heavenly father is blessing modern day Babylon. No, no, he's not. Because, you know, he's seen signs in the last days that the heavenly father is sending, sending heavy floods. He's sending divisions. He's sending clashes between different sides of the group that hook, who took the Paul Pierce and the ones that didn't took the Paul Pierce. And while these cases are starting to rise and you're starting to see more cases of pestilence and diseases starting to rise, not only in just modern day Babylon, around the world as well too. So you see these many different things going on in modern day Babylon. You know, these heavy storms, these heavy floodings, you know, tensions, isolated incidents, you know, financial things, even though, even though they're creating jobs and stuff like that. But you look at it, even though they're creating jobs and stuff, they're giving people more food assistance and all these things. But then again, uh, but at the same time, the increase of uh, cost of living is going up. You know, the housing crisis situation, worrying about that. And then the mandate for people getting evicted and all that, you know, and all these other things that's going on in modern day Babylon. You know, they trying to, they trying to, to heal this place. You know, ain't no healing in this place. And ain't no, and the Lord is not blessing modern day Babylon. The Lord is condemning and destroying modern day Babylon as the book of Revelations 18 is saying, I mean, in the book of Revelations 18 and 2 says that, you know, Babylon is uh, fall. This place is uh, continuing to fall. It's going to continue to fall in these last days and expect to see more increased things to go on and a lot more activities of prophecies are being fulfilled for modern day Babylon because this place is falling. You know, you know, and, the, and us men of the Lord, you know, we know these things. That's why we thank the Lord for giving us the opportunity for letting us know and let us, you know, learn through the scriptures and continue to learn and grow through these scriptures, you know, and to learn these things before they happen, you know. And the Lord give us the blueprint through these holy scriptures. He give us the mouthpieces from the elders, apostles, the great millstone who've been ruled well, preaching these word for 30 plus years, you know. And they give us the elders in our camp and the brotherhoods as well too. You know, that's why we thank the Heavenly Father for all these things that he's given us, you know. Like I uh, mentioned again, for, for the blueprint to know these things in the last days. And like I mentioned before in the title, Introduction of the Sit Down Lesson, that, you know, modern day Babylon is falling, you know. Ain't no blessing in modern day Babylon. Modern day Babylon is getting condemned. It's not being blessed by the Lord. This place is getting continually destroyed. And we seeing it, it's starting to deteriorate and downgrade as well too. The more you put your infrastructure, the more you put money, more money in, is more the Lord tears it down. If it's through earthquakes, tornadoes, through storms, conflicts, 
tensions, economic situation, political situation. Hey, the Lord, he's doing it all. He's deteriorating this place. He's downgrading this place while they're trying to upgrade. But the Lord is continuing to, to, to uh, interfere in that. And I'm going to bring out one more scripture to close it out. I ain't going to do this lesson for too, too long, you know. And this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For judgment reach unto the heavens and lift it up even into the sky. Right? Because, you know, the Heavenly Father, you know, he's not healing this place. This place is trying to heal, but it's not going to be healed, you know. That's why it's continued judgment coming to this place and continued judgment as we see right before our eyes, you know. And that's why these uh, other countries, they trying to get that American dream. Hey, the American dream been dead. The modern, the modern day, the modern day Babylon dream is gone. The American dream is dead, it's gone, you know. You know, cause this, this place is, you know, is it for this place is it for modern day Babylon? You know, this place is it's not gonna bounce back. It might look like it's gonna bounce back, but it's not 100% fully gonna bounce back. Like I mentioned before, I was bringing up all different categories, long as looking at from an economic standpoint, from a political standpoint, you know, from a, a racial attention standpoint. You know, for the uh, for the uh, Paul Pierce versus the un unshot people, you know, it's gonna be clashed between those two. Ain't gonna have the left versus the right, you know, and many other different things that be going on in this place as well too. So those are indicators, are signs that the Lord is not blessing a modern day Babylon. You know, He's condemning and he's against this place so with that i hope this is edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of yahweh yahweh and first and foremost i'd like to give all praise and glory to to yahweh bashem yahweh shai bashem makakadash double honors to the elders apostles of great millstone christmas word truthfully and sincerely shout out one to the akim that scattered through the four corners on the globe christmas word truthfully and sincerely and shout out unto the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shout out and the ball, the ball.